Bonjour, j'espère que vous allez très bien. In this video, we are going to see how to say questions like what does it mean. So when you don't understand something in French, you want to ask a question. Questions like what does it mean? We are going to see that with your tutor online, myself, Pascal, and FrenchSpanishOnline.com. First, we have to say that to mean in French gets two meanings. The first one, and it is the most common, the expression vouloir dire. Dire is the infinitive form and doesn't change. You just need to know how to conjugate the first part, so the verb vouloir, vouloir dire. Another verb is signifier. Signifier is shorter. However, we prefer to use vouloir dire. Let's see now and start with the first question we are going to translate. What does it mean? So what does it mean in French? Well, you can say, using the expression vouloir dire, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Also, in this video, pay attention to the pronunciation and the contraction. For example, the first part of our sentence is qu'est-ce que? But when we speak, we say qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? And with the verb signifier, qu'est-ce que ça signifie? Qu'est-ce que ça signifie? So here we translate it using the verb, the word ça. So let's see now when you want to use a proper word. For example, in a conversation, you listen to uh, the word charabia and you don't understand it. So the question is, what does charabia mean in French? How to say that? Qu'est-ce que charabia veut dire? Qu'est-ce que charabia veut dire? Or, you can also say charabia. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Oh, Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, charabia? And finally, charabia? Mm, ça veut dire quoi? And it is very, very common to put the question mark just at the end of your sentence. Ça veut dire quoi? Very common, the third uh, question. So, charabia, hein, ça veut dire quoi? Let's see now that you could say the same thing actually with the verb signifier. Qu'est-ce que charabia signifie? Or charabia? Qu'est-ce que ça signifie? Charabia? Mm, ça signifie quoi? But again, vouloir dire is most common. Let's see now a second example, a second question to translate in French. How do you say that? So how can you translate this question? How do you say that in French? Well, you can say, comment dit-on ça en français? And here you can see that in English we use the pronoun you, but in French it is the neutral pronoun on. Comment dit-on ça en français? Comment dit-on ça en français? And after, you can of course express your words or your expression. Comment dit-on ça en français? Comment ça se dit en français? Comment ça se dit en français? Let's see now using a word like gibberish. How do you say gibberish in French? Well, comment dit-on gibberish en français? Comment dit-on gibberish en français? Or gibberish, comment ça se dit en français? Hein? Comment ça se dit? Let's see now a third question and the last one. How to say gibberish? Here we use the infinitive form of the verb of the word say, to say. Well, in French, we are also going to use the infinitive form of the verb dire. So, comment dire gibberish en français? Comment dire gibberish en français? It's a bit formal speaking this way, using the infinitive form here after comment. Comment dire gibberish en français? Of course, after knowing all this expression, if you want to make a, a larger sentence, you can say things like that. We are going to see first this example, a formal example. You're speaking to your teacher, you're speaking to someone you want to show respect, and you can say something like that. Excusez-moi, so excuse me, je n'ai pas compris, or j'ai pas compris when you speak. J'ai pas compris, I did not understand. Or you can also use the present tense. Je ne comprends pas, je comprends pas. Ça veut dire quoi, ce que vous venez de dire what does what you've just said mean? Ça veut dire quoi, ce que vous venez de dire? So the whole question 
« Excusez-moi, j'ai pas compris, oh, je comprends pas. Ça veut dire quoi ce que vous venez de dire ?»« And if you are speaking to a friend, well, you can use an informal way, so it is « excuse-moi » instead of « excusez-moi ».« Excuse-moi, j'ai pas compris, oh, je comprends pas. » Ça veut dire quoi ce que tu viens de dire ?« Ce que tu viens » instead of « ce que vous venez de dire ».« Excuse-moi, j'ai pas compris. » Ça veut dire quoi, ce que tu viens de dire ?« And another way to speak, you are in your classroom, you want to speak to your teacher, because you did not understand, and you can say something like « Monsieur, or madame, of course, ça veut dire quoi, ce que vous venez de dire ?»« J'ai pas compris. » So we can use here « monsieur » instead of « professeur » or « maître » if you are in a primary school. « Monsieur » is perfectly correct to speak to your teacher. « Monsieur, ça veut dire quoi, ce que vous venez de dire ?»« J'ai pas compris. »« Ok ?»« Well, I hope that you understand ce que je viens de dire. »« Well, it's time for me. »« Allez, c'est fini. »« Alors, au revoir. »« Et surtout, bon français. »